In this video, we'll look at question 88 from the 2016 exam. In this question, we have a 2 kilogram block on a rough surface of coefficient of friction 0.25, and we can here see um, a picture of it from the side, and here it is from above. And as we can see, there are two forces acting on it, which are perpendicular to each other, one of magnitude 9 newtons and the other one of 12 newtons. So these two combine into some sort of a resultant force, which acts now on the block along uh, the surface, so it slides on the surface. But against it, will act in the exact opposite direction, the force of friction. And our task is to find the acceleration of this block. So first of all, the resultant force of the two, uh, the red and the blue force, is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle with sides 9 and 12, which is going to verify by a Pythagorean theorem is 15 newtons. The triangle is um, similar to the familiar 3, 4, 5. Now what is the force of friction going to be? So do you recall how it's defined? Well, there is definitely a gravitational force acting on this object of uh, magnitude 20 newtons, that's its weight. As an, and as a reaction to that, from the surface onto the block is a reaction force, which, because the block is not moving in the vertical direction, also has to have a magnitude of 20 newtons, so that the two will now cancel. And the force of friction, little f, is just the magnitude of the reaction force times the coefficient of friction. 20 times 0.25, that's one quarter of 20, which is 5 newtons. This force will always act against a force which causes the motion. And in our case, it is this 50 newton resultant force. So in the opposite direction has to be this force of friction, 5 newtons. Again, this diagram is from above. And that makes the resultant force in this direction acting on our uh, block 10 newtons, 15 minus 5. And by Newton's second law, the acceleration must be the resultant force divided by mass, 10 newtons divided by 2 kilograms, which equals 5 uh, meters per second squared. So that's our final answer. That's the acceleration of the block. And in the exam, it was option A.